Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. Look at all this stuff. We get questions all the time. Where did you get that thing for your RV? Well, today I've got stocking stuffers and maybe some really nice gifts for your favorite RVer. Well, hi, it's Jerry. We're back home for the holidays. And we get questions all the time when we travel. Where did you get this item or where did you get that item that makes RV life more enjoyable? Well, I want to show you 10 items that you might want to consider for your favorite RVer. I've listed here these 10 items that range from stocking stuffers to maybe a couple splurge items you want to consider. This has been a game changer. I know it doesn't look like much. This is the Jiffy Pro Sharpener. Now, you know, we've all used these things, right? The sharpening steels and, you know, it just depends on the knife or you've got that favorite pocket knife that you want. And you just need to kind of sharpen the edge up. These things, this is a stocking stuffer. These things are $9. Uh, our son is a restaurateur and a chef, and um, he's always struggling with his really nice expensive knives and always bringing them over here for me to sharp. I bought him one of these. He absolutely loves it. I love it. These things are fantastic. Let me show you how it's used. All right, I'm going to show you how we use this Smith Jiffy sharpener. Now, I'm gonna, I've got Joan's favorite kitchen knife. I don't recommend this at all. Uh, Joan, I'm sorry if you're watching. This is a piece of sharpening steel. I am going to destroy that nice, that nice edge on it. It's dull. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Joan. It, it won't, it won't do anything. It's dull as can be. Now, this is how easy it is to be able to use this simple sharpener. When I saw this demonstrated, I couldn't believe it. You put this on a flat surface, just like so. And you take your sharpener, here's the sharpened edge, now watch this. You just drag it across just a couple times. Now you saw me beat the dickens out of this thing with a piece of sharpening steel. I'm going to do this about, I don't know, seven, eight times. Holy Toledo, look at this. Look at this. Look how sharp that is. And that's just six or seven times. If I continue to do it a few more times, it would be razor sharp, but that's perfect for being able to, you know, slice your tomatoes, it's sharp. Um, it's, you know, slice your tomatoes very, very fine. Um, you can do other things, like it's got a little area here for a fine edge where you, you know, you, you wipe it and continue to hone it if you really want to go that way. I don't even worry about it. Um, this will fillet steak, it will do, you know, fish, cut fruit, Gosh, nine bucks, what a great little deal. I've shared this in a video of essentials one time before, but I think it's something that should be shared. This is number two. This is your Klein 11-in-1 tool. Yeah, it looks like a screwdriver, doesn't it? But it's really more than that. First of all, it's a series of bits. You can pull these things out like so. You've got a number of different things. One thing that I like about it is it's got the little square driver that you find on most of the RV screws that you see out there. These things just pop out. Um, you've got hex drivers that's built into it. Um, you have, you know, just regular screwdrivers that you can change in and out. They, you know, these pop out to Phillips, to your flathead, uh, inside large and small, the whole gamut. This is, I use this thing all the time. How I found out about it was an electrician friend had this in his, um, tool case that he carried on his side on his tool bag. This is another item you might want to consider as a stocking stuffer or just a really nice gift for your RVer. It's great in your toolbox. Uh, we keep it in a drawer in our RV all the time because there's always something coming loose or falling off. You know, it's that 9.5 earthquake we tow in. Uh, 15 bucks. Uh, and I'll give Amazon links to all these uh, if you want to consider getting these gifts. And uh, I don't know, there may be some Black Friday deals, but right now this is a $15 item. Okay, don't laugh at this one. This is a personal coffee maker by Black & Decker. All right, it comes with this thermal uh, coffee cup. 
this is the the second or third one I've had. Um, not that they're bad, I just wear them out. And I mean really wear them out. I had uh, one that my daughter used at college. She came home, I found it in a box. I used it in an office that I had for about 10 years until I burned it out. As soon as we bought the camper in 2014, that's how long I've had this one, since 2014, I use it every single day. Even when we come home, I use it every single day. I love it, $19 and your thermal cup comes with it. It's an absolute bargain. It, it, it makes a perfect cup of coffee. One of the things I hate about coffee, and I'm a, you know, I love coffee, is you, know, you put it in a pot, it gets overheated, it gets bitter, it gets terrible. This is a nice, gentle, hot drip. You get a perfect cup of coffee every single time. It doesn't use a whole lot of power. It's very low wattage if you're out there boondocking. I just love this thing. Now, when you go to make your coffee, you pour your water in it. You've got this little cup right here that you, you, put, your, um, you put your coffee in. It comes with a screen. Toss that thing out. I, I didn't like that. It leaves the coffee a little bit grainy. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Amazon. I think this is a hundred for a buck and something. These are like number two filters that you put inside there. And then of course, my favorite, Cafe Bustello. You saw me make that video when we were in St. Augustine using this coffee maker. Yeah, you know, here's a link, you can laugh at it. But anyway, it's, you know, it's cheap. It's just, you know, a couple cents, a cup of coffee. I was a big, you know, pod, Keurig, whatever you want to call it, user. I got tired of just having a half a cup of coffee I want a whole cup of coffee. And then it's expensive as well. This is a great gift. You'll love it. I, it's my, of everything I'm showing you today, 19 bucks. <laughs> this is my favorite. Here's another item that we really thoroughly enjoy. This is something we use in our travels almost every single day. You get up in the morning having my cup of coffee uh, or it's late in the evening and you know somebody comes by and we're sitting outside and maybe it's a YouTube subscriber and we love to meet you guys when we're out on the road and we'll be sitting out there and we like to have a little music playing in the background, just some soft jazz or Jones Toby Keith. <laughs> she loves Toby Keith. But uh, you know, we'll just want to have some music. This is a Anchor Bluetooth speaker. They're 28 bucks. Very, very inexpensive. No, no, you're not going to get booming bass. No, you're not going to be playing to the masses in the uh, campground. It's really for personal use. But the sound is very, very good. You want some background music or you want to listen to a podcast or something like this. This thing is ideal. And it's all self-contained. It's got rechargeable batteries built into it. And you can't even take them out. Just plug it in, let it charge overnight. Plays for hours and hours and hours. Here, I've got, um, I've got something here for you. Nice little piece of acoustic music. So, you know, you can kind of hear what the sounds is, is like out of this Anchor um, Bluetooth speaker. 28 bucks, very, very cheap. And again, we use it almost every single day when we're out there camping. Love it outside, works great inside as well. Nice little Nice little add-on. Well, so many people now are going to some type of streaming for your video entertainment. And yeah, there's challenges with that, as I kind of add a disclaimer here. If you are going to be using streaming, sometimes campground Wi-Fi doesn't work the best. Sometimes it did. Uh, we were at a specific campground recently, and Everybody had tons of bandwidth and everybody was watching football on Saturday through their streaming devices. It was amazing, really. Uh, and sometimes you don't have that. And then, you, of course, you can use your cell phone um, if you've got one of these unlimited plans. And I know unlimited isn't always unlimited. For Joan and I, we have some grandfathered hotspots with AT&T and Verizon. So we use those quite heavily for our streaming. And um, we've tried a number of devices. We started off with an Apple TV. I just fell out of love with it. Then we went to a Fire Stick and used Fire Stick for about two years. And then recently we upgraded to these Roku. This is a Roku Premiere. Uh, it's a $29 item. It's absolutely fantastic. It does come with a cable and you know your little power wall wart uh, that you use, a small HDMI cable. And these great little, uh, great little remotes for 29 bucks. Now, what I like about it, um, it's super, super fast. The, if you've got a 4K TV, we don't, but uh, it does have 4K capability. The video is absolutely incredible. Um, you have a Roku channel uh, with over 100 
uh, channels of free TV, and it's a wide variety of everything from you know home improvement, cooking, children's TV, sports, uh, just on and on and on. Uh, you can get CBS Sports for free. Uh, you can't watch games and things, but at least you can get your highlights and things like that on and on and on. And then if you are a Plex user, for those of you out there who are Plex users and you have a Plex server, you know who you are. Uh, we have one in our home. Uh, we use a media server. Uh, here, I'll put a video up for that that's totally separate from what we're talking about now. But we do have Plex at home, and this integrates beautifully with Plex. I love this thing for $29. In my opinion, if it's worth anything, uh, this is the best streaming device that I have found on the market, and I think I've tried one of everything. I have several items in the $28 to $29 range. Here's another one in the $28, $29 range. This is a set of four. So this is these thermal... Um, I guess you would call them a wine glass or just a thermal tumbler. Uh, we use them for wine. If you're not a wine drinker, you can use them for coffee. They come with this nice little, you know, no spill cap that you can latch off and on, you know, and you can put your coffee in it as you travel down the road. What I like is they don't hold any odor or any taste, but they're all stainless steel. These are seamless, so you'll find some that kind of like are plastic up to here, and then they have a seam, and over time, uh, the heat will get to them and they'll separate. You don't have that with these. These are really, really nice. You know, and it is a painted enamel. These have been beat up. They get banged around quite a bit in the camper when we're running around. I don't do anything to secure them, but they haven't chipped so far. Uh, they actually look pretty good. We use these a lot. These are great, like if you're drinking a, a cold or a cool white wine, uh, you can pour that in here and, you know, let it sit for a period of time as you sip and they don't get cold. We started off with the plastic ones, you know, those clear plastic ones that are similar shaped. And we broke every one of them within a year. I think we had a set of six and killed every one, just slowly but surely. Um, and then these were actually given to us as a gift. Um, and it's been a great gift that we've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed, 28, 29 bucks. Again, I'll put links both in the show notes at ilovervlife.com, or you can look down below in the description of the video and you can see where to get these as well. This is a great gift for someone. Here's another item in the 20s. These kind of run in the low 20s to mid 20s. Um, they're pocket knives. Okay, D don't turn this off, ladies. This is this is something you want to be able to see. And guys, of course you're going to want to watch this one. Look, I've got very expensive pocket knives. There's things I don't want to do with them, like open up a can um, or you know use them as a pry bar. No, you shouldn't do that with your nice pocket knife. <laughs> Absolutely not. And for my expensive ones, I won't do that. But there have been some really nice products. And okay, if you're into American made, you're not gonna like this, but these are Chinese made and they're actually good quality knives. Um, and I, have, I bought them to abuse. I bought them to abuse. And I'm gonna show you two, depending on the type of pocket knife you like to carry. One of the reasons that I like these is I'm left-handed. Also, they're cam lock. Uh, if you are familiar with the Benchmade products, and there's several others that have the cam lock, um, and these are all cam lock style. I absolutely love these things, and like I said, I abuse the dickens out of them. You're not going to believe it. These things run in the $21, $22, and $23 range. This first one I'm going to show you, I'm going to take out of my pocket. Um, I've got several of these that I bought. These are some, uh, the, the brand is a Gonzo. Firebird is what you're going to find, and there's several different types. You'll notice here they've got the, the cam lock that's built into them. I like them because you can flip them like that. You just hit it like that, and it opens up really, really easy. The other thing, they're, they have ambidextrous clips. I will not buy one. Again, I'm a lefty. I won't buy a, a knife unless it's got a left-handed clip. One of the things that I like, if you can see in this, I'll uh, do this. Hopefully, it'll focus. The, uh, the, the handles are this uh, micarta, and it's checkered, so if your hands get wet, you know, you're out in the rain, and you've got to cut something, uh, these are absolutely perfect for that. These are all, guys, these are all 440 stainless steel. It's really good steel. They hold a great edge. Um, you know, you can use a whetstone, or you can use that smith tool that I showed you earlier, and they're just absolutely great. I mean, right out of the box, these things are just sharp as a razor. 
Uh, this one I think is $23, $24, something like that. These prices vary, usually by a dollar or so, depending on uh, where the links are at and how many are being purchased. Uh, but it's an absolutely fantastic knife. Now, again, I'll show you this. This one is, you know, a bit small, you know, three, three and a half inch blade. Uh, and you might not like the sharp point as a camping knife, but I've got something else I want to show you. You might like a beefier knife as a camping knife. This is the F720. Again, I'm going to put links in for all these. Um, this is a very similar style and uh, type of handle. If you'll notice, uh, for some reason, I'm just buying green handled knives now. I don't know why. Um, but this one also has the ambidextrous pocket clip. It's got the uh, glass breaker on top that you can pop loose. Again, it has that, it has that cam lock that I like so much on it. It does have a thumb stud. Um, but look at the thickness of that, the back of this blade. Uh, this, again, is a knife that was made to abuse. Um, and this knife is running 21 bucks. Again, I just took this one out of the box. I haven't done anything with it. Look how they come out of the box. I mean, look at that. These things are razor sharp. Uh, they're just absolutely amazing knives. Yes, they're Chinese made, but they're very, very good quality. The lock on them is very, very stiff. This is a great stocking stuffer. This is that gift you give the guy that I just don't know what to get him. He's got everything else. I guarantee you, he doesn't have a nice, heavy duty, stainless steel pocket knife that he can abuse. And if he loses it, it won't break his heart because it's only a $20 item. These things are perfect. The prices go up just a tad from here, um, but these are some really nice quality items that you might want to consider as a primary gift. This is the uh, Midland 36 channel FRS um, walkie talkies. Joan and I love these. Um, these come with a stand and a wall wart. Uh, there's no batteries to put in them. You can put batteries in them, but uh, they've got rechargeable batteries. We've been using these for quite a while and just absolutely love them. Joan uh, will get in you know get into the back as we're having to back into a, a camping spot uh, she'll have this one i'll turn mine on set it down on the console you know crank it wide open and then you know she's telling me to watch out for limbs or straighten it up or do those types of things um, hand signals work great but sometimes you can't quite tell with a hand signal these are absolutely perfect and if you're traveling as a group uh, for everybody that has one of these, uh, these things work for a couple miles and they're super, super clear. There's not that staticky things like we used to hear with CB radios, but they will work for a couple miles if you're out hiking uh, and you want your parties to be able to have them in case, you know, one's going in one direction, one in another. They work fantastic for that. We love it when we travel in a group. Uh, well, you know, we have these or somebody else will have some that's very similar with the um, same amount of channels, and we'll use this to communicate back and forth as we go up the road. $75, they're absolutely fantastic. They got pocket clips. Uh, you can put it on your, um, on your backpack. You can slip it on your belt. These things are just really good and high, high quality. We've had these for a while and just absolutely love them. 75 bucks is a good bargain for a nice radio. These are our new favorite items. Uh, these are our new GCI rockers. Let me show you why we like them. These are mine and Joan's new GCI freestyle rockers. We really, really like these. We've been using some camping chairs literally for six years now. And just the bottom line, we wore the darn things out. They are just completely shot. Rivets popped out of them. We decided we would splurge and buy these. Uh, I think this is about a $56 item off Amazon. We just absolutely love these things. One of the things that we like so much is if you notice here at the bottom, they'll sit on a flat or slightly uneven surface. And as a rocker, these are piston and spring controlled. So uh, you've got a nice experience. It's not that we sit here and just rock all the time, you know, but I like to kind of lean back. It doesn't, you know, give you that fatigue in your back that a lot of these back Bag chairs do. Yeah, it's 56 bucks, but these things are really well made. They fold up. They've got a little pocket up front for your, you know, your drink of choice while you're sitting out in the evening. These things are fantastic. And uh, we bought these three months ago and used them every single day um, as we uh, just finished our last, uh, you know, two month plus trip. So this has been a good buy. Uh, still, this is a little higher priced item. Uh, look, I love to read. I read all the time. Um, again, when we're talking about sitting outside, you know, with our tumbler and a nice glass of wine <laughs> and it's early in the morning or late in the afternoon and, you know, I'm just having some quiet time. 
Um, I used to read paper books all the time. But again, as we all know, space is a premium inside your RV. And weight is a premium as well. These things are heavy. Where do you put them? Um, and I'll go through on a two or three month trip, I'll go through a stack of books, um, either paperback or whatever else. And then I got a Kindle. I love my Kindle. Um, I have hundreds of books on this. Look, you can go to Amazon and they have a section where you can get free books. Um, or you can do something, you can sign up for something called BookBub, which is uh, bookbub.com, I think, and you can buy books. There's books. Look, you, you may have a specific author that you like, um, but you hadn't read his book that he wrote three or four years ago. It's just as good as the book that he wrote today. And a lot of times you can pick these things up for 99 cents or $1.99, not $20 for a book, not $15 for a book. And I just like this thing. Um, I can charge it up. It'll last for a week uh, almost. Now, this is not what they call the paper white. This one's $89. The paper white actually has uh, a lit background so you can read it at night in the dark. I don't do that, so it's not a problem. That's $129, but for $89, and you just hook up to a Wi-Fi connection, it's all wireless, and you go out to your Amazon account and you can download hundreds. This thing's got hundreds of books on it, and I read them like crazy. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite personal Jerry devices that I use in our RV lifestyle. And um, I don't have to carry around a thousand books to be able to enjoy everything. This thing is really neat. All right, here's the last item that I have on the list, and it's the most expensive, and it's for all of you aspiring YouTubers that are out there, um, or just those who want to be able to capture all these great memories of your RV travel in video. Sure, you can use a good phone and do it. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Here's what I found out that happens with my phone. I'm out there doing a big hike, or I'm walking around, or we're seeing things. Um, and the next thing you know, I've killed my phone and we've got another hour or two out there and I'm not going to be able to video everything. I love my GoPro. This is, you know, there's GoPro 9. That's your current unit that's out there. And there's a lot of benefits behind that GoPro 9. Currently on Amazon, they're selling for $399. Again, I'll provide you a link for that. And they're absolutely fantastic. This is a GoPro 7. And for your GoPro 7s, these things are selling brand new for $229. I love my GoPro 7. I'm still trying to figure out why I would want to upgrade. This does everything that I want it to do. It's got built-in stabilization. If you want to record up to 4K, you can. I've got multiple batteries for it. I've got every adapter. You can buy adapters for these things for your wrist. Um, I've got a clip that goes on my backpack. As I walk around, I can talk. Um, you can put them on a, a selfie pole. Uh, when I was at um, uh, James Island in South Carolina, um, the swimming area was closed. I had my selfie pole. I stuck it up, stuck it over the fence and did my filming. These things are absolutely fantastic. There's all kinds of accessories you can get for it, but just like this, the recording on it is pretty fantastic. Look, I'll show you how good it is. If you click on the card that's up there, and if you saw mine and Joel's hike at Stone Mountain at Roaring Gap, North Carolina, that we showed just a couple weeks ago, that entire video, that entire, it's about a 30 minute video, was shot on this GoPro, a GoPro 7, and it just does beautiful video and the audio quality if you heard it was really really good as well and um, I didn't have any kind of special rig I didn't have any type of uh, special microphone I shot it just as you're looking at it right now just in a plain GoPro case that comes with it so if you want to really step up to the latest and greatest those GoPro 9s are $399 and if you're looking for a bargain a bargain. These GoPro 7s, brand new, not reconditioned, are selling for $229. Mm, I'm having trouble trying to figure out whether I want to buy another one or not. Well, I hope you found these gift ideas helpful. I've provided links to the I Love RV Life Amazon affiliate link. If you choose to purchase them in that way, we appreciate it. If not, that's okay too. Uh, I really provided this for you because uh, Joan and I travel so much and we get questions all the time. Where did you get this little thing? Where did you get that nice item? And I wanted to share those with you. They're great gift ideas, especially for those things of what do I give my RV traveler? 
that uh, they would probably enjoy. And Joan and I use these every day that we travel and sometimes at home, like my coffee maker. Um, and we use them heavily. They're very good quality. They've lasted us a long time. I can't imagine RV travel without them. I hope you found it helpful. Um, appreciate everything that you do for our channel, your subscriptions, your comments. Uh, if you can use the affiliate links, we appreciate that as well. And you know what? We do this for one specific reason. You got it. It's because I love RV life. <laughs>